Here's the point what I'm trying to say. Yo, chat. Okay, okay. Let me, let me go back. So this guy, his name is Trontavious Stevens. All right, start it over again. I'm sorry. So this guy, his name is Trontavious Stevens. Okay, he's a co-founder of YSL with Young Thug. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people just don't understand about this whole YSL thing. Let me break down some got gang hieroglyphics that might make some sense to you. Okay, we have the blood gang. Okay, you've heard of blood crips, blah, 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 like whatever other gangs. Blood's really big gang, right? Under blood gang is a very popular section that they're bloods, but this is their section. It's called sex, money, murder. Okay, so blood gang, sex, money, murder. Under sex, money, murder is YSL. So what happens is they're saying this nigga, Young Thug, and I think maybe another person founded YSL. It folds up under sex, money, murder, and bloods. All right? Keep in mind what trial this is. This is a charge and a trial for enforcement of charges under the Georgia RICO Act that enforces gang criminal activity. So you got to prove the people are in the gang. They got the co-founder here. So now the co-founder, after they got all their the people that have been on the stand saying this is how a gang works blah blah this is the different whatever with the gang they got the co-founder of the gang and now he's going to tell you whatever he's going to tell you hold on let's see if we can find this part or drinking liquor what did what do you know about it? other than what I heard and seen, nothing. What did you see? I seen on the internet, the artist had his bus shot. I didn't make any plans. I just planned on enjoying my- Here's the problem, Ben. And I don't give a fuck what well, none of y'all wild son niggas and all this. I've been telling y'all Atlanta's the home of the snitches. Atlanta has the most dedicated, like, like the snitches. Are there. There's more. You got to remember, New York City got like 10 million people in it. Okay, so if you find five rats, okay, yeah, big deal. But Atlanta don't even got like 2 million. Like, they just got rats galore. Everybody's telling Atlanta is the home of the cooperants. It's the headquarters of the truth tellers. It's where everybody who run around with a Draco been killing niggas, been robbing people, do not take responsibility. They get on a stand and blame it on the other guy. That is Atlanta. I'm sorry to tell you, Atlanta ain't no gangster haven. Atlanta is the home of the cooperants. If anybody from Atlanta says otherwise, I have the stats to prove it. I got how many people live in y'all towns or live in, live in the greater Atlanta area. And you got to tell me why y'all got so many cooperants compared to New York, compared to Detroit, compared to California, compared to Idaho, compared to Mississippi, compared to Alabama, compared to Florida, Broward specifically, compared to any of these other places. Atlanta niggas, as soon as they learn how to say Mer Krimmel, they learn how to point. It's him. He did it. That's how Atlanta is giving it up. I'm sorry, Atlanta niggas. Don't get mad at me. Y'all get, cause y'all not mad at the niggas who tell them. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Don't, I, I, I know y'all won't clip. Don't, don't get mad at me. When you born in Atlanta, they give you a baby Draco, birth certificate, teach you how to say murder cribber, and teach you how to tell. That's how they're doing in Atlanta. Atlanta is the place where everybody, trust me, it's, listen, you know how they say it's better be caught with it than without it? In Atlanta, it's better to tell it than don't tell it. Okay? Let's just keep it a bean. These things is 4K. Here's the funny thing about it. And this is what we got to keep it 100. We're going to keep everything 100. At least with 6'9". When he got up on the stand, 
You know why you don't understand? Nigga, the stench. Like, you ain't understand to play games. You don't understand to say you can't do math. Nigga, 6 9 had his feet cocked up. That nigga was eating french fries. That nigga had filet mignon on the side. That nigga had hors d'oeuvres. That nigga was over here singing like a... You was singing like Aretha Franklin. That nigga was singing like goddamn motherfucking Whitney Houston. That nigga said, of course I see Shotty. Shotty, what up, dog? He threw up the sauce to Shotty. Shotty, yo. <laughs> like, yeah, they had their whole little thing going on. He had not, and Listen, if you're going to tell, at least be a great person at telling me. I've always been good at everything I did in life. See, in school... Fuck a gold star, nigga. I was the, the best person in my class. I'm the smartest nigga, period. Anything I do, I'm the best. If I'm going to tell, I'm going to be the best teller. You can't tell better than me. My thing with Atlanta niggas, they're unwilling. Like, like they're, they're not trying to, like, no, they're they're telling, but they're not showing out with the telling. Like, 6 9 would have been laughing, telling the whole story. Hey, yo, yo, 6 9 was on the stand. He was like, yo, I bet. Chill, chill yo, prosecutor, you go. Hey, yo, boom, check this. So, yeah, I'm kicking with Shorty and, you know, like, Yo, we ran to these two little treasures right here, blah, blah, and boom. Like, you know how New York niggas tell a story. Everything is like boom, like boom or, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, my man is telling. Like, he's cooperating. I don't know why he's trying to act like you could cooperate and keep it real. Myself for the night. Did you know prior to going the cost of getting into the compound? No. Did you know prior to going... How long the artist Lil Wayne was going to be at the compound? No. And when you got to the compound, did you ask whether or not Lil Wayne was still performing inside the compound? I'm sorry, did you see that? I don't know if y'all heard this part, but this nigga, the whole time I was like, yo, why the hell is Young Thug in a gang with a nigga who is 75? Do you know this nigga is younger than Young Thug? Young Thug is like 32, 33. You know this nigga is goddamn 30 years old. He was born in 1993. I don't know if he put some gray food coloring in his hair or whatever else he got going on. But do you know that this guy is actually like he's younger than Young Thug. He just looks older. I don't know if this is part of a ploy to try to get some sympathy from the court. But he's younger than Thug. Overall, sir. Did I ask anyone? No. Did you try to find out in any way whether he was still performing? No. So when you get up to the compound and you're in the car with Shannon and Dee, what do Shannon and Dee do when you go up to the door, the entryway to the compound? I don't know. I Oh, um, I'll stay in the objection. I don't recall. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, mother. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let her pose another question to you, oh. okay? All right. Does Shannon and Dee go to the door of the compound room? I don't recall. Is your inability to recall for any reason in particular? Atlanta niggas, man. Yo, y'all niggas in Atlanta talk dumb slow, could barely spell like no 15 words in y'all whole vocabulary. And y'all think y'all finna take the stand and outsmart the goddamn DA that got y'all convicted and got y'all on 25 years probation? Come on, bro. Let's be honest. Like, at least if y'all were smart, I'd be like, okay. They're like trying to do some, Bro, come on. Y'all know 15 words in y'all whole vocabulary, bro. Like, y'all don't. Come on, dog. Like, y'all can't outsmart the DA. Like, what are you doing? What do you think you got up there? Like, oh, I don't recall. Like, that's the, oh, he learned three more. He knew 15. He knew 15 words going in. He know 18 now. I can't recall. Bruh, we got you on all type of charges. You will never see, you will never see the sun again. Are you going to tell us who did what? Or, okay, you can all right, say less. After time, and it was a long time ago. I don't remember everything step by step that happened at night, so no. Do you remember how you got home? Yes. How'd you get home? I drove. What did you drive? The Mercedes Benz. Was there anyone in the car with you? <laughs> I, I don't remember step by step. 
How do you remember who you came with but don't remember who you left with? That was a long time ago. <clears throat> Did you communicate with any other YSL members while you were at the compound? Not on the way, while you were at the compound. I recall telling I'm finna go in the club. Did you communicate with any other YSL members any more than to say the words, I'm about to go into the club? That's the only thing I recall. Do you recall members of YSL saying anything to you without telling the jury what they said? I don't recall. Did you tell us yesterday whether Jimmy Winfrey was one of the YSL members that went with you to the compound as a group? No. And was Jimmy Winfrey one of the YSL members that went to the compound? He was there, yes. Do you remember what he was driving? Okay, so they talk about the night of the shooting with the bus. Yes. Okay. And Roscoe is a member of YSL, is that right? Yes. Alright. And is that the same Roscoe that went to the compound with you all as a group? With YSL as a group? Yes. Right. And whereas the whole Game of YSL, as big a Lil Wayne fan as you talked about yesterday? Sure. I stand, I stand, it's the same objection. Yeah. Who all was I, it? I, I, I stand the objection over it. All right, you need to rephrase that. But you didn't talk about it. Maybe that was on some of their minds already to go to that club. I don't know. I want to back up a little bit to something you said a moment ago that referenced what you testified about yesterday that you discussed with your attorney who then conveyed that information to the state. Yes, but... Yo, this nigga on the stand moving like he got Alzheimer's. Hey yo, hey yo, listen, yo, for all y'all slow Atlanta niggas, man, I got a message for y'all. If you decide to take the stand, your stupid ass that doesn't take the stand, it ain't no, oh, I don't remember, whatever, whatever. They're gonna provide so much. The mere fact you took the stand, they're gonna provide so much shit to you to re make your memory recollect what they want you to say that your dumb ass is telling anyway. I don't care if you get up there, be like, uh, I don't remember my name. Uh, uh, I don't remember that night. I don't know. Uh, nigga, you on the stand already, bro. Either you on the stand or you not on the stand. Nigga, my thing is this, bro. At least if you're gonna be on the stand, get some extra credit like 6 9 Don't be getting up there like you don't know what's going on. Like, you know when the teacher be like, yo, read, read the next three pages and we gonna talk about it tomorrow. Now your stupid ass, you ain't read nothing. You showed up in class, teacher pointing at you, be like, yo, what was the last three pages about? You're like, uh, 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 exactly. Nigga, you telling. If you telling, you telling. Nigga, you know what you supposed to say? You th nigga, throw up that slime shit, wipe your nose and point at Jeffrey. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to be up there and like, nigga, you got a deal. The deal, like, here's the thing. Nobody's volunteer telling. Like, these guys are getting deals. Hey, we're going to give you probation for 55 years, okay? You'll never go to jail, though, if you never break another rule. Even though we know you're going to break another rule because you're a career criminal. But anyway, until then, we just only need you to cooperate or actually not, not cooperate, corroborate the information that we say about Jeffrey. Remember when you and Jeffrey was up in the there, y'all was wiping y'all nose and y'all was throwing down whatever gang and y'all was saying slat, 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 and y'all shot at the niggas? Could you tell us about that day? Uh, uh, I don't, I, I don't, I, I, I don't remember. It. Man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, you fucking idiot. Without my permission, I didn't tell her to do that. But it, so the yes part is the yes part to my question about whether it reflected the changes that you talked about. Yes. Okay. So the final document is reflective of changes that you discussed with your attorney. Is that an accurate statement? Can you break down the question more for me? Sure. 
When you first saw the set of questions given to you, and by questions, are you talking about any particular part of this document or the whole document? Y'all let me look at it. When you say the initial set of questions, which questions on that document are you talking about? Is this the initial set of questions? This is 16. So this thing is acting mad stupid. I sustain the question. You can rephrase that. Okay, I need a super cut of this. This thing is acting stupid. It's too stupid for me. Shantavius Stevens' testimony. Like we need, we need a highlight reel. Here we go. Do Are it. you aware of any of the hand signs used to proclaim sex money murder? Yes. Yo, this nigga is over here. At, yo, man. Yo, chat. You know who this nigga is? I'm gonna show y'all who this nigga is. You know who that nigga is? I'm, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. I'm gonna show you who that nigga is, bro. Y'all, 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 seen that nigga before. Yeah, I've seen that nigga before. This is nigga right here. Here we go, Chad. Remember when he was pre previewing best friend? Remember this thing in a floral shirt, like and pointing the gun? Yeah, nigga, he ain't had no bad memory then. Man, get your memory right, nigga. Stop playing around. Speak. Nigga, what gun you had here, fool? Hey, hey, come on, man. Enough of the bullshit. No, no more cornery, man. No more. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If I wasn't, if I wasn't a goddamn, if I wasn't a goddamn broadcaster, man, I'd be a prosecutor for these fuck niggas, man. Nigga, cut the fucking shit, man. Cut the fuckery, nigga. What type of gun you had in your hand right there, nigga? Nigga, when you had that tight, that, that tight ass wife beater on, nigga, with the floor with the pink on it, nigga, what the fuck was you doing, nigga? Did you and Thug just fuck before that? No? Well, tell us what you did, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Like, yo, bro, we not about to baby you, nigga. Now you got gray hair in your head before you was like this, that, and third. Get out of here, dog. <laughs> If I was a prosecutor, what I would do, I would do it so devious. I'm gonna have this video. Okay, we're gonna have a freeze frame. This is Young Thug before veneers. You're gonna explain every one of these hand signs to us because we don't know what it means. Okay, what the fuck is this? You're gonna explain this to us. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna explain this to us. Yeah, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I come on, bro. We ain't got time to baby you up in here. You niggas is doing crimes. You are shooting down Cleveland Ave. You killed 55 niggas. We don't give a fuck. Tell us now, or you're going to jail for 55 years. We gotta get hard on crime, people. I'm sick of this shit. Okay, what's this other shit right here? This look like the sign you throw up when you're trying to make an alligator. Like, you ever seen when you're trying to do like, like, like shadow signs? You know what I'm talking about? Like, like you put signs in front of a, a, a fucking light, and then you can see the shadows over there. You trying to make an alligator? That look like an alligator right there. What the fuck is this? What is this? All right, bet. Then what is this? Yeah, come on, man. And then what is that? Nigga. And then what is that? Ain't that crib? What the fuck? Like, this nigga threw like 25 signs. <laughs> what gun this nigga got? This thing got like a ray gun. This shit is crazy. Nah, hell nah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, if I'm the pro, you see, the prosecutors are slack in this case. Nigga, I would have brought the same gun up, nigga. I would have pistol whipped that nigga in court. <laughs> Stop acting like you don't remember this shit. What gun was this, nigga? What did y'all do before this video? Y'all look like y'all just fucked. What happened? What happened? Tell us the truth. Okay? All right. Okay, man. Talking about your member shit. Do, are you able to perform or to demonstrate 
any of these hand signs without the use of somebody. Vestron dropped in 2015. You tell me in eight years this nigga, this nigga act like this nigga done turned 75 years old and got Alzheimer's. Come on. Yes. Would you please show the jury one hand sign signifying sex money murder? Oh, okay. Follow you cooperate. Now. Yeah, you're going to earn that deal. Okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is it this? What is he doing? Like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't know the hieroglyphics. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on. Blood. Okay. Oh, blood. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. That's the type of cooperation I like. Yeah. What are you describing? For the court reporter's sake, describe how you just curled your fingers. Dang. Uh -uh. Damn, he, nigga looked down like, what I do now? <laughs> like it was muscle memory. Um, made a circle on my, um, my pointy finger and my thumb. And I made another circle by my middle finger. And are you familiar with Wait. any other side? So this is blood. By the way, I ain't no gang, so don't screenshot me. Signs that... Signifies sex, money, murder. Yes. Would you describe it before you show it? What other signs are you familiar with? Um, would I describe before I show it? Uh, a smaller circle. What else? Uh, and uh, and and not curling my index finger this time. <laughs> Are those the only ones that you're familiar with? Yes. Would you show the jury the things that you just described? What is that? A small, uh, a, a lower place B. And what does that stand for? Um, blood. Okay. Now what oh, was the other shit. one that you described? Hold on, I gotta write this down. I ain't never knew that shit. <laughs> Yo, Chad, my boy better than Gunner. Or was that the only one? Uh, I described, uh, Capitalize me. Okay. Are those the only two hand signs you're familiar with that are related to sex money marks? Yeah, that I can call them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. Who is it that is depicted in State's Exhibit 8 uniform? Me. And what part of your body is depicted in State's 8 uniform? Lower, lower right okay. from stomach. The lower right part of your stomach? Yeah. Right. Is that writing on the lower right part of your stomach still on the lower right part of your stomach? Yes. Right. What letters are on the lower right part of your stomach as depicted in eight uniform? The letters are an L, an I, an M, and an E. Is there another letter in front of the L? You would call it a letter? You know? No, nah, that's like a, that's a snake. Oh, okay. So what is, uh, what is it that's depicted on your stomach? What word is it? So, I, uh, substituted the initial S to spell slime with a snake. Yo, chat, you know why this is fucking stupid? And for everybody to be like, oh, no, he kept it 100. You know, he, no, he, he confused the police. Brother, the dumbest people in this case are the ones who were charged. There ain't no fucking brilliant, motherfucking, maniacal, like, 2 million IQ dude that's charged. There's a bunch of dumb niggas who are shooting up Cleveland that. Like, this ain't, this ain't like, you know what I mean? Like, you're getting the smartest of the bunch, okay? Brother. You have slime on your your fucking like belly. What what the hell does that mean? Uh, uh, I don't know. Really, dog. Like really, bro. Like really, dog. Like my nigga, like it's crazy. Yo, put like this: a dumb nigga can't outsmart a smart nigga. My nigga, I'm sorry to tell you. These niggas, like, so wait. We have you saying slime a million times. You have slime tatted there. Is is that the word slime? No, that's not really a S. That's that's it's lime. It's lime. I like limes. That's a snake and a lime. Really, bro? 
That's how you're going to beat this case. You didn't tattoo slime. It's a snake and a lime. Okay. Okay, so it's meant to spell slime. Yes. And the word slime, what does it mean? <laughs> Why did this nigga look like mm, That's a good one I never thought about that one before What Yo who is this nigga thinking he's confusing What does slime mean Ooh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Nigga, come on, bro. Yo, chat. I know everybody... Th Listen, if you're one of those idiots who think, let me admit to the crime online, but as long as somebody doesn't tag the FBI, or as long as Vlad or Act don't repost it, I can't go to jail, of course you'll be sitting in court thinking, yeah, I just basically admitted that slime is tatted on me. Now they're asking you what it means. You're like, hmm, hmm, hmm. what? Hmm? Hmm? Like, come on, bro. Like, this is like, bro, even the jury's looking like, bro, you, you think we're stupid, right? That's a good question. That's a good question. What you mean that's a good question? Nigga, you tatted on you. Nigga, you tatted. Like, what you mean? What you? So, the S is for slow, the L is for low, the I is for I. The M is for me and the E for everything. So, um. <coughs> what? Yo, who's the genius that before this trial said, hey, yo, all y'all criminals, huddle up. Yo, come on, thug, you the leader. Come on, get in here. Nah, get your ass in here. Now, take that dress off, Jeffrey. Get in here. Okay. When they ask you why your name is Young Thug, thug means truly humbled under God. When they ask you why you keep saying slime and slat and wiping your nose, you have a cold that nobody never diagnosed, okay? But also, we have to tell them that the S is for what? But the L gonna be for love. Nigga, what? The, the S is for slug and the L is for love? This is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Who engineered this shit? Who made... Wait, hold on, chat. Nah, this got to be some bullshit. This for me. This is for slow. The L is for low. The S is for slow. The L is for low. The I is for I. The M is for me and the E for everything. So, um. <coughs> Y'all got it. That is the only thing that slime meant to you when you had that tattoo put on your body. Yes, ma'am, that's what it means to me. That's what that tattoo means to me. Is <laughs> slime <laughs> than the other? <laughs> ah, yo, this shit is, is comedy, bro. This shit is comedy, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, that that's what a tattoo me to be. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Kind of way. By you or any of the people that like breaking it, like breaking it down, like breaking it down, how it? No, like the meaning of the word is fine. Yes, no, yes, slime. Is why is, is slime a word used by YSL? Yes. Okay. And were you one of the founding members of YSL? Yes. Okay. All right. Now you lie. This is comedy. This is comedy, chat. Are you aware of any of the chat? I never thought I'd see today. This shit is hilarious. Let me see if I can find some more clips. This is too funny.
Let's see if you find another one. Okay, we got that already. Oh no, we we gotta find it right here. Who is it? Hold on, hold on. Let's go to this page. Nah, this nigga is hilarious. Okay, let's just go back to the. Who is it that is DK? Yo, chat. I know, yo, everybody keeps. I'm gonna reserve my judgment for this YSL case just off of the fact of, um, I think we're gonna get the Tory Lane Meg the Stallion syndrome again. I'm gonna tell you why. Because we keep seeing highlights. I don't know if you guys have watched every moment. I haven't watched every moment of this case yet, out to be very clear and be very honest. But what I will say to y'all is, um, not because you might be like, oh, yeah, he's finessing it. He's creating acronyms. No one's believing he's in a gang. Bro, they're hitting this nigga with mountains of proof. Everything he says, they're going to come back with 20 other pieces of evidence. Like, they're coming with proof. Like, they're not just like, oh, okay, we're just kind of making this up as we go. So, for me to really decide who is winning at this point or who's up, if you want to use that type of terminology, I can't do it off clips. You know, like, you might think somebody, like, you got to realize the police aren't fucking stupid, right? Like, you, you can't just tell them, oh, no, yeah, th their whole thing is gang, like, gang politics. They know it in and out. But when they catch you and they're about to give you a gang charge, oh, no, I just happen to be with all those gang guys all the time. They also use all the same terminology we have. Um, but the reason why I tatted it was for some different reasons. Uh, I just, I just can't see it. Let me see why. So founder, I might have to go back to long crime. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. The first alleged member about music, not committing crimes. Young thug is accused of gang related racketeering for his alleged. His testimony is still going to carry weight with the jury despite the plea deal because he was someone who was close to him. He knew the inner workings of what was happening. And so although they may take it with a grain of salt, they're still going to place emphasis on his testimony and the jury's going to listen very carefully. Now, Young Thug has pleaded not guilty, claiming that YSL is just his record label. But a judge ruled that some of his lyrics can actually be used as evidence in that case. So what does the defense need to do? to show reasonable doubt here and what happens next? The defense is going to be looking to show that these are creative um, hyperbole that was used in these songs. They're going to be showing that these lyrics are not directly correlated with real life actions or crimes that were being committed at that time. So that's what they're going to do with the lyrics. What they have to show for reasonable doubt. Okay. So there was, there was a situation where they're, they're actually accusing Young Thug of this being an act of him being the gang where he got into an argument with a security guard and apparently he threw up some gang signs and told the dude that he would shoot him. After a three-week hiatus, the trial of rapper Young Thug and his defendants has resumed. The delays come from the stabbing of co-defendant Shannon Stilwell at the Fulton County Jail and the holidays. Fox News' Brittany Edname live at the live desk tonight with developments from this high-profile trial. Well, you know, there was some very interesting testimony coming out of court today, and it really seemed to take the prosecutors by surprise when one of their own witnesses, a former security guard, claims he doesn't remember writing a report, nor does he believe it's his signature at the bottom. When each of the individuals who broke their signature, the Young Thug trial resumed Tuesday with former Perimeter Mall security guard Dwight Hutchins taking the stand, his identity protected. He was asked about Act 51 of the indictment, a 2015 incident at the mall, which prosecutors say began when Yug Thug and several others were escorted out for riding hoverboards. Then, while in a car, defendant Jeffrey Williams allegedly threatened to shoot security guard Christopher May in the face. But Hutchins claims he doesn't think he wrote this report that details the incident and questions the signature. I don't remember providing this statement at all. There's some things wrong with it. 
nor did he hear the alleged threat when the men were leaving. All I ever, like I say, it was a lot of fun. Damn, now Jeffrey powerful. Holy shit. Damn, the mall cop taking a statement back. Yeah, that nigga wouldn't want to end up in one of them boarded up houses on Cleveland Ave. That nigga would be dead as hell if he came to court to testify on Young Thug. Richard Randolph with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office testified about his visit with Hutchins back in December. And I was using my phone, so I blew up the bottom portion where the signature. And I asked, is this your signature? And Mr. Hutchins said yes. And then I proceeded to read uh, the statement to him. And he told me that he was okay with, he remembered everything verbatim except the last lines of the statement. And just to note that last night, that last line rather of the statement, that's the part that included the alleged verbal threat. We'll have more from the trial coming up in the next hour. But now at the live desk, I'm Brittany Edney, Fox 5 News. All right, Brittany, thank you so much. Oh, shit. The first alleged. All right, well, that's a good thing for him, right? That's a good thing for Young Thug. So one of those counts that directly implicates him into some gang activity the, the person who will be the eyewitness, which, by the way, you got to understand, like, if you're working as a mall security, are you going to show up in court and, and say that that guy told you or shoot you in the face? Hell no, bro. Like, bro, you about to get your ass whipped. Your family about to be in danger, bro. You'd be like, yo, bro, if, if y'all going to subpoena me, I'm going to just go and be like, nah, I don't think I remember it like that no more. Wow. Now, that doesn't mean Young Thug is going to beat the entire case. There's a lot of other evidence that's tying him to this whole criminal, like, enterprise. Let me see what's going on. No, 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 not this. Let me see what's going on today. Let me see. If I'm not mistaken, I said that I don't recall. Do you remember me showing you six exhibits? 16 uniform at number 13 under defendant's factual acknowledgement. The gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL associates sell drugs. Are your initials next to number 13? Yes. Did anyone force you to put your initial to them? No. And was the date that you signed Stacey's Exhibit 16 uniform the very first time that anyone had ever spoken with you about the statement in number 13? No. Acknowledgements that you made. All right. <clears throat> Essentially, this case is going on. Um, to put it in perspective that you guys could understand for where it's at now, they're trying to get through all these little allegations. Or allegations is like these incidents of that prove gang activity right and um the founder is obviously <clears throat> involved in a bunch of those but because he's a state witness he could cooperate i don't even think the cross has fully happened yet or has happened yet so it's a lot more to go with him he probably was on the stand today here's the point where i think young thug is at man um this shit's gonna keep dragging and dragging and i'm wondering if either one of two things is gonna happen the jury is going to get fatigued, with which means you've told them so much shit or you've just given them so much information. They're tired of this case. And they might be tired either way. They're tired of this case just saying, yo, y'all are reaching. Yo, shit. The pro like the defense attorney keeps batting down this and batting down that. Like, yo, it's too much. Like, we don't even want to take whatever else y'all got to go as um, being in serious consideration. Or it might go for the other, the, the opposite way. Be like, yo, bro, 
Right, it's just too much evidence, man. Thug, y'all get guilty. Obviously, that's not what we want, but however, this case is scheduled to go for the rest of the year, which we will see. Uh, potentially, somebody like Gunna could be up on the stand going along the lines of this. Uh, what's different from this guy's plea deal than Gunna's, Gunna, um, Gunna allegedly is able to take the fifth, while this guy was not allowed to. What does that tell me? He was most likely given a... Um, immunity deal where anything he would be talking about this particular case he couldn't ever be charged for so because of that you can't um plead the fifth right and um you know will we see gunner on the stand i can't necessarily see the reason why they would call him he potentially won't ever get called Unless it becomes a big source of the issue about whose guns and drugs that was in that vehicle that pulled got pulled over, where Thug and them allegedly had goons in a car behind them trailing with with all type of shit, and also um, what else? Um, and, and also the only two people in the car was Thug and Gun. Uh, oh, so so the, the people in, in in the car behind them had mad guns. And there was drugs in the car and guns with Thug and Gunna, but Gunna had pretty much said no, it wasn't him. So if they pressed that situation, they would have to call Gunna. I can't see Gunna being called, even if he does get called. I could see Gunna if, if there is not a, another uh, deal in place. He's going to plead the fifth. Hey, were those your guns? No. Hey, do you know those guns were young thugs? No. Hey, a part of as part of a plea, have you agreed that blah 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 was blah blah blah, which is gonna pretty much imply the answer they want. Hey, I plead the fifth, and I think that's the game they're gonna play. If you ask me, with, with, with gonna. Okay, so this thing is nowhere near settled yet. Um, we all gotta realize that this entire case is stemming from the ideology and the thought that Doug is this guy who could call murders. And he called the murder of one Donovan Nut Thomas. Other people acted on behalf of it. They're thinking he provided the car. He provided maybe payment, even if it wasn't considered payment. But he's funding this shit. And all these other little situations is going to help build him as this big maniacal mob boss that kind of could kill people at a snap of the finger. So we'll see how that keeps you know um, going as you know we get further into that situation, okay? Um, let me see what else.